Hey, Nathaniel, right here in front of you. Uh, to be back here on a card like this, uh, I know last time you fought in London, it was a pretty sensational performance. So to be back here again, what does that mean to you? Being back here and obviously after a, about a year and six months layoff is dream come true. Honestly, you know, obviously the first fight that I'd done in 2019 in London was electrifying. It was amazing. It was probably the best experience I've ever had in my life. So to have already done that, now coming into this, I know exactly what to expect. I'm buzzing. I'm, I live 40 minutes from here. So, you know, I've got my home comforts. Um, there couldn't be a better card for me to be on than, than this one today. Are you staying here all week or are you staying at home? No, I'm staying at home. Um, I'm booked in. I've got a hotel. I've got the hotel room booked in, sorry. Um, and I will be staying here the wake cut day, the weigh in day, etc. But at the moment, I'm home. I'm uh, looking after my dog. He's hard work. So, you know, I've got to go back, look after him, enjoy my, my home comforts and sleep in my own bed. So uh, for me, it's luxury. So weigh in day, will you wake up fight day at home? Uh, I'll wake up fight day at home, yes, uh, which I always prefer. You know, I like to come in. I like to, sounds a bit cheesy, but give my missus a little kiss, you know, <laughs> go go and prepare for war. So, um, yeah, you know, that's that's what works for me. Does it take a different kind of, like, mental approach to do that? Because, like, do you look at it like, oh, I'm just going, you know, waking up, doing my routine and going to, like, a day of training? Or do you make it bigger than that in your mind? Yeah, for me, as I say, in, in my head, I kind of look at it is I'm going to war you know I, I say goodbye to, to my missus my mum my, my family I'm like right you know I'm gonna get on the train I'm going to war I'll be back after um, and I have to kind of get into that mindset you know I'm one of these fighters where you'll see Brad Pickett slap me before I go in the cage I need to be angry and I need to uh, you know feel like I'm going into a war or a battle so that's what I like to do and being at home that gives me that little extra encouragement to feel like that and for people who aren't uh, aware, why was the layoff so long? Uh, unfortunately, after my last fight in the fight, I sustained an injury. It put me out for about six months on my right hand. Then I was back in training, had a fight booked up and a month out, broke another bone in that hand. So it was a completely different injury, but that put me out again for about another six months. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, it's been a bit of a long layoff. But we're here now. That's the main thing. The hand's good. You know, I've been flying through training. So, uh, you know, Saturday night, expect uh, fireworks. Yeah, so to have to deal with something like that, which I'm sure you haven't gone through before, um, what kind of growth did that allow you, you know, mentally speaking, in terms of, you know, having to overcome that and just deal with the time off? Having the time off, if anything, has made me a better fighter, I feel. One, mentally, you know, it's really made me appreciate just, just training, you know, having my body working how it should be and having every weapon that I possibly can have in training is, uh, you know, it's given me a little bit of an extra, an extra boost, let's say. And it's given me a time to work areas where I wouldn't normally work. So, you know, the first six months I was working elbows every day. Now I feel like my elbows have come up leaps and bounds since my last fight. I feel like my kicks have come on leaps and bounds. You know, I was still able to do cardio, etc. All I couldn't do really was punch with the right hand. So, um, yeah, and as I say, the, the power is still there now. So I've got my right hand back, and I've now got a load of new weapons in my arsenal that I didn't have before. And you to start the UFC run, it was such a nice streak, and then the past few, you know, it's been a, a couple of mixed results. Do you feel any particular pressure to, you know, get a, an emphatic win or just the win here? What, what does this kind of the significance of this fight mean to you? Of course, the fight's really important. You know, I've been out for such a long time now, and with my last fight being a loss, however, I, I don't feel I lost that fight. You know, I believe that I'm I'm five and one in the UFC. Um, you know, it's, I'm down as four and two, but, you know, I don't see that last fight. I don't see how I lost that. But, you know, don't leave it to the judges, they always say. Um, so, yeah, you know, this, this Saturday, I look to, uh, you know, finish the fight, finish it early. Um, and yeah, you know, let the UFC know that I'm here, I'm here to stay, and that, you know, I'm, I'm where I belong. Nathaniel, just at the back here. Uh, you know, you spoke about your, your loss um, to Casey Kenny. You got a bonus from that fight. You know, how do you assess your performance when you look back at that? So uh, I'm, I'm happy with my performance to an extent. You know, uh, the, the stats said I landed more shots. You know, in my head, I thought I won the fight. I'm a bit annoyed in myself that I didn't finish the fight and I let it go to the judges. You know, in the last round of that fight, if anything, I actually, in my head, was playing it a little bit safe because I thought I won. Um, 
And, you know, I've learned from that lesson now. You don't leave it to the judges. And that fight I took on three weeks' notice. So I was happy with my performance. I was happy that, obviously, I got the bonus. You know, that always uh, softens the blow a little bit. But, you know, lesson learned. Don't leave it to the judges and, uh, you know, finish the fights. Yeah, and, and you've obviously had a change of opponent going into this one. Um, but... You know, he actually, Vince actually called you out after his last uh, fight. What did you think of that call out when you heard? Uh, I only actually saw it when I got announced that I was fighting Vince uh, two weeks ago or three weeks ago. Um, don't know why he wants to fight me. He's lost the fight via leg kicks before. And I think I hold the record for most leg kicks thrown. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he wants a bit of the fight of the night bonus. Do you think it's a mistake on his part? For sure. Definitely, and he's taking it on two, three weeks' notice. So, um, if anything, I feel a little bit offended. <laughs> Thank you. Nathaniel, um, I'm just wondering, you have often been the, the headline act in London cards for years with Cage Warriors. You were the big ticket seller, lots of people coming out to see you. Are you used to the pressure of competing in front of your hometown crowd, maybe more so than the other UK fighters on this card? Uh, I would say this. A little added pressure for me when I'm fighting in my hometown, um, but I prefer that. You know, pressure makes diamonds, and I'm I'm one of these fighters where the more pressure I have, the better I perform. You know, um, and what's going to give you more pressure than fighting in your hometown with the crowd? You know, being the only London fighter on the card in London. Um, yeah, you know, I'm I'm ready for it, and you know, believe me when I say that. You know, this is going to be the best Nathaniel Wood you've seen on Saturday night. Tom seems a bit daunted by the whole idea of it. Like, you know, he's saying to us he doesn't know what it's going to be like, which is true. But what advice would you give to Tom, who's, who's headlining this card? Enjoy it. It's a feeling like no other. So, um, yes, I guess like queuing up for a roller coaster, you know, there's them nerves and jitters. But, mate, it's, it's an amazing feeling. And I don't think I could actually describe it to anyone unless you've done it. Correct me if I'm wrong, is this the first time that... Uh, GB top team about a permanent home while you're fighting in the UFC and how much of a significant change has that made to your camp? Yes, it is. It's the first actual camp where I've actually had a hub, let's say. You know, for the whole 12 years of, of my fighting career, I've never had one home with everything under one roof with all of my coaches there. I had to travel an hour and a half to the gym that I was at previously, an hour and a half back, so three hours of my life spent travelling. Now I have a state-of-an-art facility 10 minutes around the corner with all of my coaches there. So um, that's definitely, for me, a missing puzzle piece that I feel I needed to take me that next level. And I've got that now. So, you know, it's been, as I say, almost luxury. I kind of feel spoiled now. You know, we've got heating in the gym. Didn't normally have that. Um, come summer, we got aircon in the gym. So, uh, yeah, you know, GB Top Team, it's been um, a blessing. How difficult is it to find someone to look after your dog? when you're going to do these things because it seems quite a terror. It's uh, virtually impossible. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you know, me being at home has helped. My my fiancé has been at home for the last two years working because of COVID, and they put her back in the office three weeks ago. So if there was ever a time where I said, they could have just waited, they could have waited out, out a little bit, but he keeps me busy, he keeps my mind off things, and, uh, yeah, I love him to bits. So, um, you know, he's a blessing for me. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Nathaniel down here. Obviously, you've had the, the long layoff, uh, 18 months. How active are you hoping to be this year? As active as I can be. You know, um, touch wood, no injuries. You know, I just want to get as many fights in as I can. Good fights, good wins. You know, I don't want to overdo it to the, to the point where, you know, people are looking at me thinking, you know, you're looking a bit overtrained, mate, or that sort of thing. But, you know, I want to be active. My bank balance wants me to be active as well. So, uh yeah, you know, after the Saturday night, I'll obviously speak to the UFC, find out when they've next got a card lined up that they want me on and, you know, try and be in there as much as possible. And we saw on Instagram the, the roadmaps that you have all over your, 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 your body. Uh, talk about the diet to, to get into the, that condition, because this is the best condition that we've ever seen you in. It's tough. It really is. You know, um, the fight for me, when people say, how are you feeling for your fight? I don't really feel any nerves until after the weigh-ins because for me, the nerves are always, let's make weight. You know, I've got to diet down for 10 weeks, eight weeks, you know, then I have to cut weight in the sauna and, you know, I'm in great uh, physical shape. I took that picture or video 
uh, after a sauna, 20 minutes out with good lighting, and all of a sudden everyone thinks that I'm on either steroids or I'm really struggling, you know, it's just good lighting and good genes, guys. So um, I appreciate that for the guys that think I am uh, taking steroids, but no, I'm, I'm just naturally gifted. And obviously you, you had back-to-back uh, injuries to the hands. Psychologically, how's it been like throwing that in camp and... Will, will there be any reservations on, on fight night? Because I know some fighters do have that after suffering such an injury. No, so far the hand's been great. And this is, I think, been the first fight where I've had about 14 weeks notice for. Um, so we made sure that, you know, the beginning of camp, etc., we didn't overdo it. We really took our time with getting it back to 100%. And, you know, as I say, it's been 100% since. So fingers crossed it, uh, it stays up in the fight. And um, I'm looking to get a knockout with it. Cheers, mate. Hey Nathaniel, how are you bro? Good mate, you? I'm doing good, thanks. Um, so firstly, I just wanted to say, obviously, two weeks notice Vince has taken this fight. Mm -hmm. Normally when someone pulls out quite late notice, it can be frustrating for someone because they've kind of tailored their game plan for that opponent. But since it's Vince who stepped up, do you think that stylistically, actually you prefer this and now you can fight your game and you can put on a better performance in front of those fans? Yeah, 100%. I think Vince is a, a better fighter in the in the sense where he's had six UFC fights, three and three. He's on a two-win streak. Stylistically, he's better for me. You know, he's more of a striker. He likes he likes to bang, you know. And for me, that's more fun. That's more exciting and that's more suited to my game plan. You know, Ljudvik, as confident as I am in the grappling exchanges, I think it was going to be, a, oh, you know, let's try and defend takedown, defend takedown and, you know, even though I was fully confident I was going to get the win, I kind of had in my mind, oh, it might not be fight the night, it might be a little bit boring, whatever. Um, and it's kind of boring training for them sort of style fights. But, you know, Vince comes to bang. So, you know, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be an exciting matchup. And I'm, you know, I'm pleased that he's taken it on, on a couple of weeks' notice. When I came to see you a few weeks ago, uh, we spoke a little bit about the weight cut and how difficult mm -hmm. it can be cutting the calories and stuff. But you did say, like, one of the only things that you can have is chewing gum. So I've got your packet. If you want me to throw it to you, appreciate I can it. Yeah, can send, it it up here. send it off here. <laughs> can catch? Yeah. Look at those reactions. <laughs> Good luck, Nathaniel. Thank you. Nathaniel at the back here. Um, when this fight was initially announced, it was actually Ludwig who was uh, in there, and obviously for reasons he can't uh, can't make it. But did you have an inkling that someone was going to fall out? Did you kind of have that in mind when you were preparing? So, whenever I fight, I always in the back of my head think, you know, opponents can change at any time. That's why I never really plan my whole camp around one opponent. Um, obviously, when the what's happening now in Ukraine just started to happen, I actually sent the other vicar a message and said, hey, mate, you know, I, I hope my thoughts and prayers are with you. I hope you're okay. And I hope things, you know, this hopefully won't affect our bout that we've got lined up. He replied with a nice message just saying, thank you, mate. But, you know, at the moment, all I can think about is family, etc. And it was the next day that it really sort of kicked off. So, you know, once that happened, I knew that he was obviously, you know, going to have to pull from the fight where, you know, too right. You know, I, I've got nothing but thoughts and prayers for the people of Ukraine right now and, and Lyudvik himself. So, you know, I wish him all the best. And, yeah, I'm just, you know, lucky to still be able to compete on this card. And, you know, thanks to, to Vince Morales for taking this fight. Um, you know, I know it's not easy taking a fight on short notice, and especially in someone's hometown. So, you know, I'm pleased that he uh, did take the fight. Thank you. Nathaniel, you're, you're the only Londoner on this card. Do you think it means a little more to you than the other British fighters? And, and how do you expect to feel when the announcer says fighting out of London, England, and the crowd goes nuts. For me, it's a good feeling. I think I might be the only London UFC fighter. So, you know, I feel like that's uh, a little extra motivation to represent. Obviously, my original dream was to become the first uh, UK champ. Bisping obviously stole that from me, <laughs> but I can still be the first London champ. So yeah. that's on the cards. You know, I want to be the first uh, UFC champion to bring a belt back to London. Brilliant. Thanks, mate.